Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I decided to make some more table blacked out videos. Yes, me, Creep on Slayer, making quality koala bear content. Thank you, Jacksepticeye, <laughs> for giving me an idea on how to start a fresh video. But anyway, so. Today's video at 3 a.m. Today's video is going to be about my surprise that I said in the last video. Now, if you're not aware, there is a site, and I don't know how long it's been out for, but my guess is 2018, so for two years. So, with that being said, I decided to make a Storyfire account. Yes, I made a Storyfire account and I have a channel on Storyfire. Go subscribe to Storyfire, my Storyfire. And, yeah, just call me the universe because basically that's what I am on there. And, um, I have a decent picture for, yeah, story fire. For my profile picture and actually if you guys don't know this if you decide to make a story fire account be sure to basically go through the process of doing the video application now, what does this mean about the video application? Well, there is an icon of a pencil, a plus pencil, right? I'm going to call it that because it shows a plus and it shows a pencil. So, the plus pencil icon, you click on it and you can upload a video, you can make a post, you know, post a picture and yeah, make a post about it, and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, like I did. That's what I did today, because I had to do the video application, and I did it two hours ago, and yeah. So, if you decide to make an account, go through the process of the video application so you can add videos to your story fire. I'm waiting for an email and response. Now, I'm not exactly sure how story fire works. It's similar to YouTube, but not exactly. So what I've heard is, Storyfire is the new YouTube, but not only is it the new YouTube, but it's YouTube and Twitter combined. And what does this mean for YouTube? I'm not ex exactly sure. Obviously, I think, in my, you know, I think that YouTube is still more popular than Storyfire. But, I think it's on the peak of becoming as popular as YouTube. So it's on the mountain point. It's like, right there. It's like, oh, so close. It's like at the, the point. Like, it's close to the point. It's like, the alongside of the mountain. 
It's close to it. It's not at the point, but it's close to the point. And most likely it will be on the point of the mountain. So, not literally, but figuratively. Anyway, so, but if you haven't made a story fire account, I highly recommend it because so far it seems like a good app. Um, it's not that much actually. It's 30, well for me, it's 38 millibytes. I think it was like 38.22 millibytes. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. It doesn't take up like, I don't know, 80 millibytes. It takes up 38. So not much storage to be had on your phone or tablet, depending on which you prefer to to stream and make videos on and post tweets. But yeah, it's a YouTube and Twitter combined. And yeah, when it gets let's just call it reflamed because it's not retweeted because it's not Twitter um, when it gets reflamed because there's a flame icon for it getting redone so when it gets reflamed that's similar to, to Twitter it shows you know the, the arrows and the you know Anyway, it's similar to Twitter, is what I'm trying to say. So, there's that. But the aspect of it being similar to YouTube is you can post videos. And also, it's similar to YouTube because on YouTube, when you first when when you when you first make a YouTube account, when you make a YouTube channel. It's going to ask you what you like, and Storyfire does the exact same thing. So that's how they're similar to each other that I know of so far. If I find out any further app information, I will let you know. But for now, that's all I know is when you start off, you do that. Now what's different about it is that on Storyfire, they say username, and I guess it's similar on YouTube as well, but they don't say username, they just say channel name, and you, yeah. If you actually really want to know my, my handle on Storyfire, it is the unified universe originally it was going to be the unified universe alien but you can only have for some weird reason they need to update this you can only have 25 characters for your username which is a bit boohooing because you're like what why can't I have more than 25 characters which means 25 letters or symbols or numbers like it can't even be over by one like it can't be 26 it has to be exactly 25 characters which is absurd but I didn't make the rules I didn't make it up to have a limit for a username that's what they wanted and yeah and that's how also Storyfire is similar to YouTube for instance video titles can only have a hundred characters whether it be symbols numbers and letters which I feel like 
is a lot better than having just 25. You, you know what I mean? So, but then again, you know, Storyfire, as I know of it today, hasn't been known that long. Like, from the earliest posts I've seen so far, it might have been earlier than that, but the earliest post I've seen is of 2018, and that's two years ago. That's two years old, guys. So, but, it's a good app. I'm going to raid it later, whenever I get some time tonight or tomorrow. And honestly, it depends on my mindset of the, the app, which, so far, it's it's a good mindset, so I don't think it will become a bad mindset because it's a really good app, as far as I know, from me making an account with that app and me making a post. Yes, I made a, a Storyfire post today, so if you want to go see it, my very first ever first post on Storyfire, if you want to go check it out, you're more than welcome to check it out. Yes, and if you question me, yes, I do like my own stuff, so I did heart it. But, you know, why not? Why not heart your own content? Because if you are passionate about your content and you enjoyed saying whatever needs to be said on your account, then, yeah, I don't see why not to like it. Or heart it, or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that's, that's it. Um... My account has been made officially today, so if you want to go see it, do so. And, yeah, it was officially created at, let me unplug my phone. Um, it was officially created at 12 in the morning, so August 25th. 2020 was when it was created so whenever this does get uploaded to YouTube I just wanted to say that it was the account was created August 25th at 12 a.m. 2020 so yeah but anyway uh, that's the end of video as we know it because ugh, getting sleepy so guys I'm gonna head off here I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did guys please subscribe to not just my YouTube channel anymore but subscribe to my story fire and if you haven't already and you sleep under a rock 24-7 I have a TikTok too, so if you want to go check out my TikTok as well, along with my Storyfire and my YouTube channel, you're more than welcome to. And don't expect me to post a lot on TikTok because, yes, I do love the app, and yes, I think it's a good idea, but I don't have the time or energy to continuously make TikToks, okay? So, bear with me on that account alone, because I love it, but it's not my full-time gig like other TikTokers, you know, like they're dedicated to their TikTok work. And I am dedicated, but not as much as them, because they want to actually make money off of their TikToks, I don't, so that's the difference between them and me, so, or me and them, however you want to word it, but that's, that's about it guys, like that's, that's the telling of me making a story fire account, so go flame me, if you want to call it that, since it is an actual flame, <laughs> go campfire, flame me. Because the reason why I say campfire is because when you open it up, it's like a starry night. And
then it shows that flame, their logo for Story Fire, and it just reminds me of a campfire. So go campfire flame me and just subscribe on there. I've already followed PewDiePie and as he land so it's a z z y l a n d and then p pi p e w d i e p i e and he's actually known as something else on storyfire uh let me check it for a second what's it called i actually got Storyfire installed on this phone as well. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is installed. Oh, and also, since we're talking about apps, uh, go check out Aloha. Um, Aloha is actually a dependable app that you can use, and um, it serves its purpose, I think. And uh, if you want to go check it out, do it. So, give me a second. Alright, so here's the app. Aloha. And see, you can set it as a default browser. And just browse stuff. Oh, come on. And they're actually... Introducing Aloha Premium. So there you have Aloha, but let me actually go to the actual app that I'm talking about. Story Fire. It's totally free, the app is totally free. So you don't have to worry about costs of credits or actual money. Um, so, his on there is Pyrocynical, and there's other people, YouTubers like, Brandon Rogers, Raka Raka, Tanner Fox, and Jay Aubrey. So, yeah. So, one more time for PewDiePie. It is Pyro Cynical. So, and let me tell you how many each one has. Because it gives you... It gives you six creators to subscribe to for this one for this section when you start off on when you start your fire on story fire so for Brandon Rogers it's 32.4 K subscribers Raka Raka 14.8 K Tanner Fox 10.4 K Azzyland, 9.9k, Pyrocynical, and I'm pretty sure it is PewDiePie, but I might be wrong, the reason why I said it's PewDiePie is because it's showing his face, PewDiePie's face, so keep that in mind, don't quote every fact here, okay, <laughs> so Pyrocynical, 35.5k and last but certainly not least J. Aubrey 5.3k so those are the ones that pop up once you go through the process of selecting what topics you like whether it be a funny whether it be action whether it be vlogging you know that type of genre, whatever genre uh, that you want to pick from, and you can pick up to three, just just so you know, on the the genres, and that's about it, guys. So 
I drug this out for way too long, 20 minutes. Jeez and coconuts. So, I will see you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And like Eli the computer guy says, Noobles it. <laughs> so, Noobles my videos. Okay? So, so, essentially, like the video, subscribe, and go check out Eli the, the computer guy. He's cool. He actually made a video about Leafy is here being terminated, and he gave his opinion on it. About him, not just him, but YouTube itself as a corporation, as a company. So, and funny thing about him, he wears the same thing every time when he does a video. So it doesn't matter if it was a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, five weeks ago, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, wearing the same dang shirt. That shirt must get washed pretty often. Either that or he has duplicates of that shirt. And he wears it every single day when he makes a video. And I'll actually tell you. So let me turn on my controller. Um, and let me tell you. So let me type him in. So E Y the computer guy. Okay. So in his video of Leafy is here channel terminated, it's got three point five K views in seventeen hours. Leafy is here, so when I'm recording it, it has 3.5k and 17 hours ago. He is wearing a orange jumper, you know, an orange jacket. And, yeah, and on the left side of his peck of, the peck for the, the jacket, you know, the jumper, it's got a smiley-faced computer. And he's wearing a black t-shirt, and he's got a beard, and he's bald. He's got a little bit of hair on his bald head, but not really. But how many times has he wore this exact same outfit? Like, he's wearing it for days on end. Like, he either washes it a bunch, or he has duplicates. So, and none of his videos look different, because they all look the same. Especially when you're wearing the same clothes for a video. So let me let me look. So give me a second, guys, and I will tell you how long he's been wearing it for. Because my life is that interesting when it comes to looking at people's clothes and how long they wear them for on YouTube videos. So let me see. Wow. God. Um well okay. Finally. So, for three weeks straight, three weeks ago, uh, the first did it, uh, bleh, the first time and the first video he did it on is on a video called PlayStation 5 Needs New TVs. Because before that, he was wearing a long, dark orange long sleeve with a smiley face computer on it and how long has he been doing that for so let's see he wears the same stuff over and over like he never changes his outfit routine like for months maybe a year or years on end he just wears the same stuff so yeah so for Keep going. Good lord. I the same thing. Okay. That looks... Okay. So, for about six months straight, 
he's been wearing the, the same dark orange long sleeve. And the first video that he made in this one was programming intro what are IDEs integrated development something. But then it goes to a video next to it and it's programming intro what is an API application programming and he's wearing a long sleeve that's light orange so you see what I'm saying like he wears the same stuff over and over and he's got 1.01 million subscribers so 1.01 M subscribers and his profile picture is a smiley face computer that has gray outlining or gray background, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I know I've been nibbling at your ear each time, but uh, I'm officially done with this video, so if you enjoyed it, uh, go check out Eli the Computer Guy, go check out Leafy on Storyfire, go check out my Storyfire, and it is, yeah, that handle I just said a little bit ago in the video, several moment, minutes ago, and yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, Creeper fans, and as always, creep it out, and goodbye, Creeper fans, creep it out.